So lots of talk about this big Yahoo reorg, but no sign of Jerry Yang. Guess he's too busy mopping floors over at Google. Hello, it's Monday, June 23rd, 2008. I'm John Paczkowski, and this is Digital Daily. Well, the Googleification of the mobile industry will begin a bit later than expected. When Google announced its Android mobile platform last November, it said devices running it would arrive at market by the second half of this year. Well, it turns out that that deadline was a bit aggressive. Android-based handsets may not be available until the fourth quarter of this year, and that's if Google's lucky. Because some handset manufacturers are apparently struggling to meet even that extended deadline. Software providers are finding it difficult to develop programs on a platform that's still going through revisions. Handset manufacturers are having a tough time integrating that software into their devices. And wireless carriers are finding that customizing Android to promote their own internet services isn't quite as easy as they'd hoped. Apparently, a multinational consortium of companies working together to develop an open mobile platform, while a wonderful idea in theory, is in practice an enormous pain in the ass. Soon, Nokia mobile phone users will be able to tell people who don't particularly care what they're doing, where they're doing it. Not that they cared about that in the first place either. This morning, Nokia acquired location-based services venture Plazes, which has developed a sort of social GPS that allows users to tell one another where they are and what they're doing. For Nokia, the acquisition is a quick way to add the elements of place and time to its mosh social network. And for Plazes, which has no business model of which to speak, it's a quick and easy way to get one. Microsoft's hostile bid for Yahoo raises troubling questions, Google Chief Legal Officer David Drummond wrote back in February. Troubling indeed. Almost as troubling as the questions raised by Google's partnership with Yahoo. As Kevin Johnson, president of Microsoft's Platforms and Services division, pointed out during a panel discussion at the cons debate last week. Commenting on one Yahoo exec's description of the deal as a quote, win-win, Johnson had this to say. If Wynn is consolidating around 90% of the paid search market with Google, you can say, okay, Google would do that as a win. But I don't think that from an industry perspective, this deal supports having choices and having a number of strong players in the advertising business. Of course, who better than Microsoft to point this out, given the company's monopolistic past? That's it for Digital Daily. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow.